Welcome back, everyone. I think you guys may know that at On Down the Road Productions that we do enjoy moto camping with our motorcycles, specifically a Rocket 3 GT. But let me tell you, we've got some new gear for this year, and this can be used not only for motorcycle camping, it could also be used for hiking or if you uh, have a trailer with you or a tent. And it's the Wingman of the Road Road Kitchen. Let's uh, get more into it. I'll set it up for you guys and we'll talk about it. We're excited. seat of our Goldwing Tour right now and this will give you an idea of its relative size. It's in its casing still but nice and slim, easy to pack, high quality branding right there you can see that. Let's see. Okay I just wanted to show you guys against the motorcycle seat how big this truly is. Let's move on next to the setup which is very ingenious. Later. Okay, so what we have here is a very nice travel pouch that you can put the wingman of the road, road kitchen into. So it kind of came like this. Let's open it up. Easy zipper here. And note to here, we have carrying handles. So the first thing that comes out here is your cooking plate and a cutting board. Wingman of the road. Kind of goes together like this. Let me set that here. Also comes with this kind of holder place here. Lift up when it's hot. Very high quality. It feels like heavy duty cast iron. Now here are the assembly instructions. It's not so bad. There's a second pouch in the wingman of the road, road kitchen. Put that over there for now. Let's open this up and I'll show you guys this. And here it is. Here's this pouch I'll set to the side. Here it is in all its glory, brand new in its packaging. This here is a wind deflector. I'll show you this in a minute. Let's open this up. Okay. So, we have our step one. I think I'll leave it like that. I'll move this to the side. Take this out. Take this out as well. And this is the... Uh, tray that your coal or whatever you're burning will go into and it just kind of goes like this and if you can imagine getting off your motorcycle right there how quick this would go okay now let's um, do this just kind of to keep things from getting too close to your charcoal or whatever and that. So here you would put your coal or pine cones, whatever you were going to burn to cook up here and this would go straight up on top. Cooking your steak, cooking your fish, whatever, okay? And you know a lot of campsites at state parks just have an open pit. Just from our perspective it's good to to um, bring a small road kitchen like this. This is by far the highest quality road kitchen I've seen. Usually what you're going to find are propane mini stoves, but this is more, more of an organic experience and you can see that very high quality. And that's really it. Now, when you're done and things have cooled off, it comes apart real quick, I think like this, whoops like this and this, like this, 
and then this right here and back into this pouch uh, the pouch would go let's see the pouch would go right here and let's just slide all this back in Kind of do it one at a time. Get these other pieces here. It goes this like this. Okay. Back in the pouch. A few moments later. everyone here for this review of the wingman of the road road kitchen uh, we paid 170 for it plus shipping first of all it's super high quality in summary it will last a long time second point is very easy to pack whether it's in a duffel bag or a pannier or underneath something or on top of something on your motorcycle and then number three obviously wingman of the road has a very good reputation for their camping tents and we do want to recommend this road kitchen to everybody who sees this video you won't regret it and it kind of lets you uh, cook organically if you boondock with your motorcycle or if you're overlanding which is another great piece you could use for overlanding is the road kitchen from wingman of the road until next episode everyone be good take care of each other and Thank you from all of us.